Hi everyone, today I want to talk to you about the fire behind your depression. So there can be many things that can contribute to depression, but I just want to talk to you specifically about people suppressing themselves, which can then lead to depression or despondency or, or lethargy, whatever you'd like to call it or categorize it. Um, I'm personally seeing this a lot at the moment with um, different restrictions in place, uh, people saying, I don't know what to do, I don't know what's going to happen. And um, we've seen statistically that depression has gone through the roof. So just thought I'd zero in on what might be happening there. So it can be fear putting us into depression. So when there's fear playing out, it can actually, we go into a suppression of ourselves and our feelings get depressed down. Our ambitions can get depressed down and there can be fire that's just being pressed down. So I'll give you two examples. Um, the first one would be in a relationship. So I see this a lot with relationships, um, even to an extent friendships as well, where the partner like, really wants to communicate something. Um, they're a little bit scared of what the reaction might be. And so they just might not say anything for a long time or ever. Uh, and then all of a sudden that can lead towards despondency and depression and um, you know, detachment from that person, okay? So that's on the relationship side. On more of a career or even just general ambition side of things that you'd like to do, if there's fear holding you back from doing certain things, people can again go back into depression, they can suppress their fire when they're really scared of just doing um, something small. So for example, I used to hate doing these videos when I first did the first couple. I was like, I just don't want to do these videos, but I had a calling to do them. And now I actually really, really enjoy them and almost feel 100% um, comfortable doing it, but not quite. So the fear can actually just suppress what we want to do and press down our fire. That can lead to lethargy, um, low energy, and with some people, you know, chronic depression can actually lead to addictions as well. So what do we do about that? Well, ideally we identify the fears holding us back and then we just start making some small steps towards um, moving into the direction we want, whether it's having that conversation with that person or following a particular ambition or career path. We start making small steps, which just helps break the inertia and can really give people a lot of energy. So it's just a matter of small steps and then you can really, really um, make some progress. Now I'll give you a little tip. Um, I actually purposely go through depression now um, or engage in depression, I should say, because it provides a lot of answers. Um, it provides where fears might be or what might people be going through when I'm actually coaching on a one-on-one -on -one basis. So I've been through many bouts of depression, some I've worked with not so well, to be honest, uh, and some I've worked with really well, uh, and as I practice it, I get better and better. So um, hopefully that helps. Uh, there's uh, many other things you can do to work through depression, um, including certain lifestyle factors like getting adequate sleep, um, you know, there's hot and cold therapies, good quality food, um, all those kinds of things, um, healing trauma. So. Uh, but that's one thing. So I just thought I'd zero in on the links between depression and fear and how it might be pressing down your fire, um, which is probably just wanting to burn and, and blaze and, and really flourish. All right. Thank you for listening. Uh, please let me know if you'd like any assistance or leave any questions below. Love reading the comments and take care. Okay, bye.